Before we test out the universe travelator for the cat, because you're going to be the first cat to go across the universe, we need a holiday. Hello, everyone. My name's Brianlyn. My name is Matt. And we are here for... Story Salad. Wow, you were really high. And you were really low. low. I can't go quite as low as you. You have a very deep voice. But I probably can't go as high as you. Oh, maybe I can. What's the highest you can do? Go. Oh, that's difficult (laughs) to listen to. (laughs) It was difficult to do. (laughs) I'll give you my highest voice. (laughs) The window's smashing everywhere. Pretty high. Hey, what's your highest voice you can do right now? If you're listening, go. Whoa! That was so high. I heard dogs barking. Oh, well, thank you for that. That just woke us up. And we love that you're all here because we're all back for another story salad, which is where we get three (laughs) random words from a lovely listener. And we turn them into a story that is three minutes long. (laughs) (laughs) And with one minute to go, we hear this sound. And that lets us know that we need to wrap up the story. And find an ending. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably going to be a story of highs and lows today. It always is. So, it always is. Just like life. No. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Life with a capital <laughs> L. So can we please get the words? Hello, my name is Alexander. I am seven years old and my three words are palm tree, universe and cat. Oh, Alexander, I love those combinations of words. I know, I love them too. Palm tree. Universe. And cat. (laughs) Like some very large, expansive, you know, I think when I think of the universe, I think of big anything. Well, the universe is every single thing there is, including a palm tree Tree and and a cat. cat. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well, let's use Alexander's words in today's story. story. There once was a cat named Colin. (laughs) Ow, I'm so grumpy. I have been wanting to get my back scratched by my owner for two days and she has been so busy that she hasn't been able to scratch my back. Back. I can hear you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, so actually, Colin's no. Owner. I'm not sorry. In <laughs> fact, I'm glad you heard me complaining because I've had to scratch my back on the palm tree for the last two days because I've had no human hands to scratch my back, which I think you know happens to be my favourite thing. Now look here, Colin, said Colin's owner, C- Calandra. <laughs> Calandra. Right. Collie for short. Collie for short. I, we have had this argument every single day. You know, I am a world-renowned physicist, scientist, philanthropist and part-time clown. Who also happens to own a cat. I'm sorry, oh. but I don't care if you're the Queen of Sheba. If you <laughs> buy a cat or you rescue a cat from a cat home, you are making a contract that you will give that cat back. Colin, you know that I gave up my Queen of Sheba title to focus on my clowning. (laughs) And right now I am working on the first through the universe travel later, okay, to put you on because your dream is to go from one end of the universe to the other and I am busy in that lab for you, Colin. No, well, look, I appreciate that, Collie, um, but I, uh, I, I, look, and look, it's going to be amazing. I, I believe in you. Know. You know I'm the biggest champion. You are. You know I believe in you, you and are. that I know that if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. And with that, Collie sat down and went, I'm oh, so sorry, I've been so busy, busy on my science and my, oh, oh, one minute. One minute. And my physicist stuff and my clowning. But, and and I then, put- and then she, and then as she was speaking and describing all the busy things she'd been doing, um, <laughs> Colin just kind of shuffled underneath her hand oh. and was like, look, this is great, but um, if you just start <laughs> you can just cry your hand. while you pat me. <laughs> <laughs> and, they started, and she went, look, I say before we test out the universe travelator for the cat, because you're going to be the first cat to go across the universe, we need a holiday. 
I let's go a, on a holiday. Let's idea. go somewhere where there's a palm tree. Let's go somewhere where there's um, slides and fun. Let's go reconnect as cat and owner. I because, think we need to. Because you are the best cat. And in you the whole, are the best cat owner in the, in the whole, whole wide, wide universe. Ah, oh, good, good. I love that you gave that a little clap at the end, Matt. <laughs> you were so jolly. <laughs> because I love when I love when two characters connect. Yes, especially. In the end. I mean, there's no connection like an animal, like your pet. At, like, that's you true. Know, that's a very special bond. Also, remembering that, like, sometimes people do get busy. It's true. Sometimes your parents might get busy. Sometimes your older brother or sister might get busy. Grandparents might get yeah. busy. Yeah. How many times have I, <clears throat> have I heard the words "Not right now, Brielle"n? I'm busy. Yeah. You know, so and, and you have to be patient in those instances. It's good if you're ever feeling. That just to go, I'm going to take a second to say how I feel and then you might get a back scratch out of it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Or you might get a trip to the other side of the universe, (laughs) best case scenario. And which one's better? We'll never know. Well, there's no determining. You could not put them on a scale. (laughs) Thank you for those words, Alexander. Alexander! They were fantastic words. And what an interesting story we created from those words. I know. And And we love mixing up stories and creating new story salads every single weekday, don't we, Matt? That's from Monday to Friday. Yeah, every day in Saturday and Sunday is the... The day's off. Yeah, go and enjoy your weekend. Days. But Monday to Friday, get your ears around the story salad. That's right, and you can hear them all exclusively on the ABC Kids Listen and Listen app. Yes, you can, and you can also make up your own story salad right now. Right this minute, because we're going to give you three words. Seeing as universe was in that, let's pick words to do with the universe. <laughs> <laughs> so, they can literally be any words. Anything's possible. Because the universe is everything, everything that is and ever was. Thing. So I'm going to pick. Always taking a big deep breath, listener. Ready? I'm ready. We're ready. Fork. Oh! <laughs> I did not see that. Because coming. forks exist in the universe. They do. It's true. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to pick. <laughs> Tap. <laughs> Exist, exist in, in the, the universe. universe. All right, get ready for this. Okay, ready, 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 ready. ready. <laughs> oh, he's like, deep, big, deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> he started giggling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shoe. <laughs> oh, yeah, anticipation. Whoa, okay. <laughs> So I, I hope Let me get this straight. We could pick any, any three words in the universe, universe and we picked fork, fork tap, tap and shoe. shoe. <sighs> I don't know how you're feeling, listener, but I'm pretty inspired. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to use them in a story salad. They are the most crazy words. <laughs> so your words are fork, tap and shoe. But I, which is just my short way of saying for, for your information. information, tap has a couple of different meanings. That's it true. could be the tap that you turn on to get water in the, in the sink, or it could be like a tap sound that you make, Ooh, or like a tap shoe if signals. you do dancing. Yeah, and maybe you know an alien might eat with a fork too, and maybe on some planets a shoe is like what. They wear little, on their heads. What they wear on their heads. Or a little yeah. creature sleeps in. See, you can take normal words and go Make silly with them. Make them extraordinary. Because yes. that's what we do here on Story Salad. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>